Uh, uh, fresh as flu? Well, yeah, I mean, that's just the label that's put on uh, to conditions that develop in those early weeks at university. You know, you've got thousands of students from all over the place coming together, so you're in close contact with many, many people. You pick up all sorts of things, coughs, colds, flu, chest infections, etc. Well, OK, that's how it is. These, most of those will just clear up, so I wouldn't worry about one that. One thing that won't clear up and one thing that you have to be very aware of, uh, and, and you're a student, you're young, you feel invincible, Meningitis. Yeah, that, 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 that's right. And, and of course, you know, it, it, it's a nasty one. We're all at risk of catching meningitis, but especially babies, young children, and young adults. Of course, you've got all young adults coming together at university. One in ten will be carrying the meningococcus, the bug, in the nose and throat, and it's not doing anything, and suddenly it multiplies, etc. And the, the, the situation is. Ideally, before you go to university, you should be vaccinated against meningitis. Many students won't be, but when you get to university in those early weeks, yeah. get vaccinated against meningitis. The, the is that vaccination on the NHS or is that something you'd have to pay privately for? No, on the NHS, but the, the new meningitis vaccine... The meningitis picture is very complicated in terms of vaccinations, but the, the, the new one is meningitis A, C, W and Y. People haven't heard of these. W is increasing rapidly and quite an aggressive strain. And so, that's young adults as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, young adults who, you know, do get vaccinated. What I'd like to do is just to quickly mention the symptoms. Yes, yes The course. early symptoms of, of meningitis. So and not just in yourself, but also keep an eye on if you've got... Anybody. If you've got uh, anybody. Roommates, things like that. Yes, your, your anyone, anyone. Headache. These are the classic symptoms, early symptoms of meningitis. Headache, fever vomiting or nausea, stiff neck. You, you try and lift them off the bed and the neck remains stiff, and a dislike of the light. Now, these are the early symptoms. People talk of skin rashes and meningitis. That's late on. When you see these symptoms, these symptoms need to be sorted out by a doctor. Yeah, okay. the doctor which you will have signed on with when you got there in the first place. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. All right.